Hey guys, my name is Frank Molinero. I am a father to three beautiful children, Kaysen, Frank, and Weston Carter. Uh, my kids are four, two, and one, so it's pretty hectic time. I'm married to awesome wife, Kara. She's the best inspiration and she's the best mentor and the best wife I could possibly ask for. Um, currently, I am still training in wrestling. I was the 2016 United States Olympian at 65 kilograms. I finished just shy of a bronze medal at the Olympics. And I'm here to talk about how I'm connected to Christ Community Church. So in 2013, long story short, my wife and I, we had two secure jobs. She was an assistant coach with the Rutgers Gymnastics and I was an assistant coach with the Rutgers wrestling team. Uh, we lived there for two years. Things were looking really comfortable, really secure. We were really happy. And one day we had a vision. God had put this dream on our heart and uh, we felt a burning desire to go do it. So what we did was we moved from our secure, comfortable life and we decided to go all in on this quest to become a United States Olympian. At the time, I had not ever trained that style of wrestling, so I had zero experience. Uh, I would got a little bit out of shape the two years while I was coaching, but we felt like it was from God, and we were willing to take the risk for it. So we left our jobs, we took a $70,000 pay cut, and we went to State College. Fast forward to 2015, when I met Christ Community Church, was at a crucible moment in my life. I had been questioning God for a long time. I was asking questions. I was I just had my first child, so questions were raised on how we would raise him, what, you know, what were our thoughts on God, what was my wife's thoughts about God, and it led us on a journey that changed the rest of our life. And after the 2015 World Team Trials, so the first year after moving down to State College, the year before the Olympic cycle, I unfortunately had a very bad tournament. I had a very bad season ending year and things transpired, certain circumstances snowballed, one thing led to another and I found myself at the heart of God. And God really opened my eyes to everything. He opened my eyes to what his where his heart is at and everything, where his love and grace for me, and he really showed me the next few steps. He showed me the doors, and right there, right then in that moment, when I experienced that, that bliss, I ran through that door. And the first thing I did was, when I made that decision to give my life to Christ, I immediately went to locate a church. And just by chance, I was led to Christ Community Church. I tried it out. From the second I pulled up and the people greeted me at the door and I listened to my first sermon, I heard the music, I saw the people's passion, my wife saw the enthusiasm, we were hooked from the start. And just want to say one thing, you know, the one, my one biggest message today is just, you know, how incredibly grateful we were to be led to those people at Christ Community Church at that point in our life. It was the start uh, the fire had arose within us. It was the start of the, you know, the journey with God, and they were able to facilitate it beyond any imagination I could have, any scenario I could have created. It was, you know, beyond what I expected. And still to this day, I can text these people. I can text Pastor Mitch. I can text Kyle. I can text Pastor Dean. I can text any of you guys, and you're always there to support us. And I am thoroughly convinced that the prayers coming from Christ Community Church are powerful. In 2016, the people that shared that journey with us will tell you the events that unfolded in order to make that a reality was truly, truly incredible. The um, When I was baptized at Christ Community Church, the revelations my family received all proved to be fruitful and all proved to really lead in the direction that Christ community was pointing for us and 
just truly, we are beyond grateful for you guys, and we are beyond grateful for what you do. We still listen to all of your sermons, and we still watch the videos, and we still listen to Pastor Mitch's bad jokes, even, even though some of them have gotten a little bit better. Again, you know, we love you guys, and just real briefly, kind of just want to talk about, you know, my biggest takeaway with my walk in Christ, and I would say, above everything else, that I've learned and that I continue, you know, every day to have a greater view of God. You know, the biggest thing I can say for somebody out there who's searching, who may be lost, who, you know, maybe you're just not happy. Maybe, you know, you have a lot of worry and a, a lot of regret. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful in the past. God is faithful in the present. And God is faithful in the future. And if we can allow ourselves to filter everything through God. And if we can really make that relationship with Christ highest priority and seek Jesus in our lives and make God a part of our goals, make God a part of our relationships, make God a part of our family, and let God be God, we can live extraordinary lives. I don't believe that anything is impossible. You know, if God put something on your heart, if God gave you a small itch and you still have it, or if God gave you a vision and you're on that journey right now, I just want to encourage you to believe that God will be faithful. He didn't half part the Red Sea. He didn't half lead me to Christ and leave me to fail. Even in the darkest times of my life, we just got past a, a very difficult season in our lives. Even past that season right now, you know, at the end of our rope, God was able to take us from rock bottom and take our situation and just completely blow us away. And I remember one of the greatest things I ever heard from Cell, he was preaching about, you know, just the the gladness that he experiences being surprised by God. And, you know, he doesn't just live expecting God to do things he did before and and try to, you know, put God in the box, rather just being surprised by God and just living with that enthusiasm and passion and Again, I, I love what you guys do and, you know, my family is beyond appreciative and I just pray that, you know, everyone out there can have a greater view of God every day and I pray that you'll have an abundance of happiness and health in your families and your lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks.